Hi, I'm Cesar Milan, and this is Junior, my dog, and we're in backstage at Pullman Family. I'm gonna ask her some questions so you guys can achieve this state of mind. Okay, let's do it. So this is a email from uh, Bonnie. She said, "I adopted a seven-year-old. She barks at my neighbors, and his dog, and she barks at my neighbors and his dogs all the time, even at 3 a.m. If she hears them go outside, she's also very dominant even towards my dogs." I will not focus on the dogs outside yet since you have a problem indoor. So let's fix that problem, that dominant problem indoor, and that will transfer into the neighbor's dog. It makes more sense. All right, let's, let's answer a classic one. Jesse Jane, ever since, I, ever since we have kids, the dogs want to eat every one of my kids' toys. And even though they are house trained, they pee on all our, of the kids' toys. Because of this, they are now outside. Now They're now outside dogs. Okay, so why do the dog now eat the toys and pee in the kid's toy? What happens here is when the humans, when the, when the parents have the dogs first and the dogs are their children, they pay more attention. But then the humans have their own real children and they pay less attention to the dog. So now the dog competes for attention. So what we have to do as good parents for dogs and kids is that we have to be even, you know, and that's what creates the balance. The kids have to have rules, bounds, limitations. The dogs have to have rules, bounds, and limitations. But we also have to spend time with the dogs, which is a very um, common thing for parents. They uh, definitely prioritize children, which is, to a certain extent, the right thing to do. But we already have the responsibilities of having a dog. Let's let's now answer Gabriel. How do we permanently? That, I like that word. How how do we permanently solve food aggression issues? We have two dachshunds and a Great Pyrenees. One of the dachshunds will eat the Great Pyrenees food if it's not monitored, and he let him. How do we stop this behavior? Well, number one, this is not aggression, which is good news. And um, one thing we can learn is not always the big dogs act dominant or territorial or aggressive. And I see quote unquote aggressive. So what we have to control is the dachshund, obviously. And one way, the easiest way to control this is this is what I do when I feed 40 dogs. I never feed the most excited dog. I never feed the most dominant dog. I always feed the one that's more calm submissive. Then he becomes the role model. Then the rest of them are gonna learn that the only way they get food is by waiting. That will be the easiest way. It's actually permanently, that will permanently will, will stick because they're learning from each other. Now the other, the lazy way, will be putting a leash on a dog who is excited about food and not let him eat until he's calm or the rest of them already finish. But the good news is you don't have aggression. The, uh, the bad news is you're not controlling excitement. But I think I can answer more uh, of your questions or things that you're not sure about it once you watch the show, Caesar 911, which is all about educating people. The dogs are just a reflection of how we behave. You guys are gonna enjoy this show. It's really about educating people and rehabilitating dogs. Hope you enjoy. And I forgot to tell you, it premieres on March 7th on Nagio Wild. Thank you.